player of the morning after the night before. How are you feeling? How is the team feeling? Um, yeah, look, it was um, obviously an incredible night for everyone and yeah, just feeling really proud and not sure it sunk in yet. Um, but yeah, we'll um, regroup, recover and, and go again Wednesday. They say 90 minutes, 90 emotions, but it was more than that last night. Yeah. Um, can you take us through the game where, you know, well, France is the world number five, one of the best teams um, in the world, um, and how the Matildas look to play that game? Yeah, they're a world-class team, um, and I think, you know, they, they really challenged us in every facet of the game, and um, to our credit, we withstood every challenge that they threw at us, and... Um, I think as the game went on, we got more confidence and more belief and, and created a lot of good chances. Um, Mary had a lot of great chances um, and, you know, I thought she was going to get one. She, she really grew into the game um, and, yeah, to, to hold them out, keep a clean sheet is, is incredible against such a, a powerful team. Um, and, yeah, 120 minutes of, of a battle and a fight and to come out on penalties on top is, yeah, it, I can't even explain how it feels. Let's talk about your defensive teammates. Four out of five clean sheets in this tournament. Talk us into that defensive unit and just how proud you guys are to work together and to get that result in terms of clean sheets together. Yeah, it's something we really pride ourselves on as not only a back line but a defensive unit. Um, it starts right from the front um, all the way back to Macca and yeah, we just, we've worked so hard to to get the defensive structures in place. And I think it's, um, yeah, the last couple of years of hard work has, is really starting to pay off now. And to keep, what, four clean sheets is um, pretty incredible. And um, yeah, just so proud of them. And um, yeah, hopefully another clean sheet on Wednesday. Let's talk about Mac. Um, she's been through it since she came in at, in 2012. Um, it's taken her a little while to find her place and where she belongs and she really just belongs now. Tell us about her. I mean, yeah, she's been incredible and she's really earned, um, deserved her opportunity and she's grabbed it with both hands and, and really she hasn't looked back and she's just gone from strength to strength and yeah, what she was able to do last night, um, we all knew she was capable of it, uh, but to deliver it on the biggest stage is, is incredible and yeah, we're just all really proud of her. Brisbane turned out. What was it like to watch that penalty shootout and just how encouraging for the Matildas and hostile for the French the crowd were? Yeah, I remember back to when we um, were at the Rio Olympics and we had a penalty shootout against Brazil at the Rio Olympics and just that the type of atmosphere that we were up against um, and we replicated that tonight except they were all on our side and it was just incredible. Um, and yeah, there's no better feeling and yeah, I, words can't even describe how much the support means to us as a group. Um, just seeing everyone uh, come out and support us has is, is been incredible. You mentioned it, Rio 2016, France 2019. We've been through on the other side of those penalty shootouts. What was it like to come through? And so many fantastic stories with Sam and Katrina who have missed penalties in the past and they just absolutely nailed it in the moment. Yeah, I think that just shows how far our team have come, um, how we've matured as a group and uh, people weren't afraid to step up and, and take the responsibility on. Um, and yeah, just to turn the result around, um, it's, it's much nicer to be on the winning end of it. It's been a journey, Claire. Um, last night, on planes, at AFL stadiums, Broad Labor Arena, in parks, in pubs, Australia stood still and it was for the Matildas. What does that mean to you? Oh, I mean, it, it means everything. I mean, if someone had described what last night would have been, I would have thought they were joking. Um, and yeah, we've, we've definitely come such a long way. Um, we've, this is what we've been fighting for. Um, and to, to have the Australian public fighting with us and um, standing with us and supporting us. Uh, it's been incredible and, and hopefully we've made them proud. Um, you know, we've, we've definitely, we set a goal of, of wanting to inspire the nation and I think we're, we're doing that. You've always believed, lots of other people have always believed, but now the whole nation believes with you. Um, talk us about what that means in terms of powering the team. Yeah, it gives us a lot of confidence. I think um, 
yeah, we've always had belief in this group and um, for everyone else to, to start believing in us is, yeah, it's really special and um, it's something that we've been wanting for a long time and, uh, yeah, just couldn't be any prouder of, of the way that the Australian public has got behind us. But as with this group, um, once the celebrations were done last night and being with family and friends, tensions turned straight away into the semi-final. What's the key in terms of the recovery from the team? Yeah, the job's not done yet. Um, we enjoyed last night, but um, you know our focus now turns on to Wednesday, the semi-final, and um, yeah, it's all about recovering now and making sure everyone's in best po possible shape. Um, our medical team are fantastic, so they'll be working hard between now and then, and um, yeah, just just recover as a group and and prepare as as best we can. It's been a mentality of one game at a time and I know it sounds to a lot of people quite boring but it has been focusing on that one game, that one action, that one tackle, that one block. Um, when you look at it now, what's the key in terms of the building blocks of that focus now? Yeah, that's that's right. We, we haven't got too far ahead of ourselves. It's always been one one game at a time and, and I think now we, we've really got to stick to our processes and, and yeah, not get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, we've got to make sure that we do everything um, correctly in the lead up to, to the game and give ourselves the best chance um, and this team has has shown that they're capable of doing that and um, we pride ourselves on on doing everything that we can and, and everything that's in our control and I've got no doubt we'll, we'll do the same again leading into this game. England versus Australia. In sporting parlance it is one of the big clashes and it's happening in a World Cup semi-final. Um, tell us a little bit about England. Australia has played them just most recently. Yeah, obviously they're a world-class team um, and they're going to be very difficult to, to come up against. Um, and yeah, but we're, we're definitely looking forward to the challenge and, and we know we're, if we, we play to our potential then um, we, we got belief in what we can do.